former RNC chair gets a job at NBC. NBC staff, um, they're not happy about it. And it was called out publicly. This is a hell of a story. Um, put up the picture full mass. So this person basically tried to rig an election, agreed with Donald Trump, at least publicly, has little to no credibility whatsoever, is a proficient gaslighter. Um, she is forced to resign <clears throat> from the RNC, but she lands a job quickly at NBC. Proof positive, ladies and gentlemen, that you cannot keep a good Karen down. Former Republican National Committee, she's not good. Chairwoman, former chairwoman Ronna McDaniel on Sunday called the January 6, 2021 attack on the US Capitol unacceptable. Unacceptable? That's not what you said prior. After years of deflecting on the issue, she now has answered it and said, Unacceptable. McDaniel, who is joining NBC News as a political analyst after exiting the RNC earlier this month, told the outlet that the Capitol riot, quote, doesn't represent our country. It certainly does not represent my party, end quote. Another quote, we should not be attacking the Capitol. We should not be having violence, she added. Asked why she didn't offer such condemnation as the RNC chairwoman. She literally sets the policy for what can and cannot be said. As the chairwoman, why did you not say this then? McDaniel responded, quote, when you're in the RNC chair, you kind of take one for the whole team. Right now, I get to be a little bit more myself. Oh. You're, you're telling us you're a sellout. So while you're getting a paycheck from the RNC, you can take a position adversarial and antithetical to progress and let's say diversity, inclusion. You agree with violence, you agree with racism, you agree with the KKK until they're not paying you. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. There's more, McDaniel. McDaniel's RNC exit amid a period of rising tensions between Donald Trump, the GOP presidential front runner and the RNC. Trump and his team had been disappointed according to them with the RNC's finances. With the committee experiencing one of its most anemic years of fundraising in the last decade. That's, that's because of Donald Trump, by the way. The <laughs> former president also believed that the RNC under McDaniel's leadership should have done more to fight for his candidacy in, in the 2020 election. He's still settling scores, including retaining the better lawyers to push the former president's false claims of rapid voter fraud. Trump McDaniel said Sunday, quote, absolutely, absolutely wanted me to move aside and wanted Michael Watley and Laura Trump to come in. We all know that. All right. And so McDaniel said, that while her role required her to remain neutral regarding GOP, GOP candidates, tensions rose when the Trump campaign, uh, with the Trump campaign, when the former president decided to forego uh, this cycle's primary debates. We had debates there, and there was tension and a little fr a friction that started during that process. It was well played out in the media, and McDaniel said. So now, quote, and I knew. At that point, when I was doing that role, and, and we were going to have debates that when the nominee came forward, and it was likely to be President Trump, that they were going to switch, and that's his right as a nominee. News of McDaniel's hiring at NBC drew backlash, as you can imagine. She has a long history of assailing the news media as fake. And her promotion of false claims around the 2020 election as RNC chair. She was involved in a phone call herself in 2020 to pressure Michigan officials not to certify the vote from the Detroit area where Joe Biden had a commanding lead. 
McDaniel told the officials regarding the certification, quote, do not sign it. We will get you attorneys, end quote. <laughs> she, she needs to be on trial too. Uh, the Michigan Department of State, uh, State's office condemned her claims of supposed voter fraud in the wake of the election, stating they had no merit. The state's elections were conducted fairly, effectively, and transparently, and are in accurate and are an accurate reflection of the will of the Michigan voters. This was a fact check. All right, now, free from the Republican National Committee shackles, newly minted NBC News contributor McDaniel made her first appearance on Sunday, a move former Meet the Press host Chuck Todd blasted the network for while at the network. I like his style, here it is. Chuck, let's dive right in, what were your takeaways? Look, let me deal with the elephant in the room. Yeah. I think our bosses owe you an apology for putting you in this situation, because I don't know what to believe. She is now a paid contributor by NBC News. Well, I have no idea whether any answer she gave to you was because she didn't want to mess up her contract. Mm -hmm. um, she wants us to believe that she was speaking for the RNC when the RNC was paying for her. So she has, she has credibility issues that she still has to deal with. Yeah. Is she speaking for herself or is she speaking on behalf of who's paying her? But once at the RNC, she did say that, hey, I'm speaking for the party. I get that, that's part of the job. So what about here? I, I will say this, I think your interview uh, did a good job of exposing, I think, many of the contradictions. And look, there's a reason why there's a lot of journalists at NBC News uncomfortable with this because Many of our professional dealings with the RNC over the last six years have been met with gaslighting. Oh, Chuck spilling all the tea. So our dear sister doesn't have to say anything, but listen to him. You see how they did that? All right, put up the picture full mass. It was an ironic interview. McDaniel made her first appearance on the network on Sundays to meet the press, where she was pressed by moderator Kristen Welker, who did a great job about her personal stances on various issues and where she once stood while RNC chairwoman. The interview was McDaniel's first appearance on the network since NBC announced she would join as an on air paid contributor ahead of the 2024 election, sparking anger by some within NBC over McDaniel's past public allegiance to Trump and her past comments about the validity of the 2020 election. Um, and not too long ago, uh, Kristen Welker uh, and myself, we received an award um, together in DC for the multicultural media event that was also sponsored by Comcast and NBC Universal. She's a remarkable human being. She's an authentic soul. And I'm glad she has somebody like a Chuck Todd who's able to balance the scales in a very public way. What Chuck did provided clarity for us watching this disaster. Quote, this interview was scheduled weeks before it was announced that McDaniel will become a paid NBC News contributor, Welker said in an on air disclosure. Quote, this will be a news interview and I was not involved in her hiring. <laughs> She literally had to say, but I, didn't, I did not hire her. I had nothing to do with her being on my show today. McDaniel's simply a simple appearance on the network followed a wave of criticism, both publicly and eternally. At the NBC announced it had hired McDaniel to join as a contributor for NBC News and its platforms. MSNBC's president told staffers it had no plans to host McDaniel on the network, according to the Wall Street Journal. Less than a year after McDaniel criticized, NBC, uh, MSNBC's primetime propagandist for not covering special counsel, John Durham's report sufficiently enough to her liking. The public anger seeped into view on Sunday when former Meet the Press anchor Chuck Todd appearing on the show's uh, analyst panel, analysis panel, well, complimented Welker for conducting the interview despite the impossible situation. Uh, and you heard his quote directly there. Now, I'm seeing a trend here with NBC. I'm seeing a trend, all right? Um, number one, there's, there's no cooling off period. It should be, 
uh, given the things that she said on record and some of the positions she has publicly taken. Um, they shocked the conscience of myself and many others. But I remember NBC, you all did something very similar for Megyn Kelly. When Megyn Kelly was known to say things bigoted and racist, etc., on Fox News. Um, and you all decided to extend a significant lifeline to her career. And we said back then, she'll blow it. And she did, she said something racist. And all of a sudden, she was no more. But why is it that NBC continues to take risk with white female bigots? And that's it. All right, Ricky, thoughts here. Yeah, and then they uh, uh, MSNBC got rid of uh, Tiffany. Uh, I can't think of her last uh, name. Yeah, you yeah. know, and yeah. uh, the, the Cross Report. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, which was one of my favorite shows, by the way, and I I absolutely love her. But but that's that's privilege at its best, uh, uh, white privilege. Because had that been me or you, uh, Dr. Rich, we would not have been, our application would never would have made it to the table. Uh, uh, and, and then, you know, we forget about all of the times when Donald Trump uh, was unleashing attacks on the media, you know, uh, even at the Trump rallies when he would turn around and uh, and have it, the whole audience turn around and attack the media and people in the media getting attacked or whatever. And she gets the opportunity uh, to get a job with an insurrectionist that was working from the inside. You know, trying to uh, overturn a, a, a president that was, you know, a presidential election. Uh, I just think it's bad, and they are trending. So, you know, when I watch Joy Reid at night and uh, different uh, different people on MSNBC like that, I I really fear for them uh, because the minute she do something that they don't like, they gotta get they gotta get rid of her as well or right. whatever. And I, I'm just saying at at uh, Special K on my morning show. We was we had this conversation all the time mm -hmm. because we big fans of the network and we've been watching the network for years and uh, we just we also have saw uh, have seen where it's trending as well. Yep. Sad, very sad, and you know the morale among the journalists, the anchors um, at NBC, not good. You, you brought in a known sworn enemy by her own statements, not because of something we said, but because of what right. she said about us. All right, we'll bring up they say as they come.